I started in 1957, when I was just still at school, you know. You hear people like Little Richard and Fat Stomino, all them people, Eddie Cochran, Buddy Holly, Elvis, you know. The first rock and roll I started with. That we didn't stop, you know, we just didn't go away. <laughs> you know, we didn't give up. If it got tough, you know, we just said, screw it and carried on, you know. We just wouldn't die. <laughs> I don't know if that's why we're successful, because we're not like number one band anyway, you know. But we are good at, we're good at second, you know, <laughs> we're a good second echelon band. We're, we're working, working man, you know, in rock and roll. Well, usually the other two get the riff together, the basic, you know, music, and then I go in and mess it, mess it up, you know. I, I go in and chop it up and say the verse is too long or the verse is too short and put the chorus here, you know. And between the three of us, it gets pretty good, you know, it's all right. It works for us, you know. Well, Germany saved our life, you know, twice, two or three times, because we couldn't get, we couldn't get a gig anywhere else except Germany, at least twice in our lives. And we could always come to Germany and we'd have a good enthusiastic crowd and we could do some concerts and survive, you know, it was, it was really good. So I always say thanks, Deutschland, you know, it kept us alive, you know. And I, I don't know, German fans are more loyal, you know, Troy, yeah. They, uh, if they like something and they get something new, they don't abandon the old one. They like both of them, the new one and the old one, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas in Britain it's a fashion and only the new one is good enough, throw the old one away, you know? So like that's, uh, that's a big thing with Germany, I think. Mostly war, sex, you know, the usual stuff. You know, the, the usual interesting stuff. Because if you hear about history, you know, you don't hear about medieval agrarian reform, right? You want to hear about Attila the Hun, you know, it's more interesting, right? So that's always good material to be found there. And war is always unjust, you know. Like the Iraqi war is such a ridiculous thing, you know. It's like Vietnam again, right? Plenty of material there. How is it? Well, I think it's good or you wouldn't hear it, so, you know, hopefully everybody else thinks so too, you know. It's Modad style. <laughs> I think after 30, 32 years we should have our own style now. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. I, I'm not going to read it. I I hope yeah. <laughs> because my German is not very good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Did you know? No, I didn't know that. That should be funny at least. Oh, yeah. I have a small surprise for you. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. It will be released. That's really strange. Who's reading it? Uh, it's Martin Martin Semmerroger. And maybe you will uh, like him because he played in the famous German film The Boat. Das Boot oh okay. From. Uh, there he is, yeah, yeah. And um, uh, he was very happy to read your autobiography. <laughs> Good cover, yeah. <laughs> um, well, it's amazing that I'm still alive, you know. <laughs> That's one thing. It's, uh, well, I, I didn't have a really important life, but at least it's been funny. <laughs> Some of you get a laugh out of it, you know. Maybe not, I don't know. Listen to it and see. <laughs>